Hello everyone, this is Dr. Prashant and welcome back to UGC NET series. In this video, I will be discussing about data interpretation questions from December 2023 paper. So, this is the comprehension. Uh, it is all about boat and the data given was distance upstream, speed of boat, speed of stream and total time taken. And on the left side, you can see the days from Monday to Friday. And they have given two nodes that is distance upstream is equal to distance downstream if not stated otherwise okay and total time taken is equal to both downstream time and upstream time so if you didn't watch my previous video of di please go and watch it in that video i have explained how to convert the statements into equations so i will be following the same approach in this question so to start with the first question on monday if the difference between the time taken by the boat to go upstream and to go downstream is 20 hours. This is the first statement. So I will just convert this statement into an equation. On the left side you can see whatever I have written in red color is something I derived it from the comprehension or question. So according to first statement it will become t upstream minus t downstream is equal to 20. And now coming to second statement what is the total time taken by the boat to go upstream and downstream. So they are asking us to calculate t up plus t downstream is equal to x. We need to calculate the value of x. Okay. So we cannot directly calculate the time. So we, tr we try to convert the equations into distance by speed form. Okay. We know that time is equal to distance by speed. Right. So now I will convert the second equation in the form of distance by speed. So it will become for upstream time it will become upstream distance by upstream speed. For downstream it will become downstream distance by downstream speed that is equal to x. And now we know the distance also because on Monday in the table it was mentioned distance travel upstream is 320. So that also means that the distance travel downstream is 320. So 320 divided by upstream speed whenever we say upstream we need to subtract the stream speed from the boat speed that is speed of the boat minus speed of the stream. So whenever we say downstream, when we are going along with the stream, we need to add the speed of boat and the speed of stream. So in this case, first it will become 320 divided by speed of boat we don't know. So I took it as V minus 4 for upstream. So I took V minus 4 plus 320 divided by V plus 4 because downstream. We need to add both the speed of boat and speed of stream that is equal to X. So in order to calculate the value of X, we need to calculate the value of V first that is speed of the boat. So to calculate V, we will use the first equation that is T upstream minus T downstream is equal to 20. So similarly, we will convert this equation in the form of distance by speed. So everything remains same, but in this case, we are subtracting these two. Okay. So after calculating this, you will get V value as 12. So substitute value of V in the first equation. Okay. That is 320 by V minus 4 plus 320 by V plus 4 is equal to X. We know that value of V is 12, that is speed of the boat is 12. So you substitute it and you calculate. So the answer will be around 60 hours. And now coming to second question on Wednesday, if the boat covered half of the distance upstream with usual speed and other half with double its speed and it takes 33, 3 by 4 hours less time than the usual time to go upstream. So let's split the statement first. So if the boat covered half of the distance upstream with usual speed, for example, V and other half with double its speed that then it will become 2V. So what happens? This is this is a scenario, right? So go to the left side and let's write down the first statement in the form of equation. Time taken for upstream in this scenario will be there are two times because it has traveled in two parts. First half with speed of V and second half with the speed of tv. So we need to add two times t1 plus t2. So what will be the t1? I mean the first half. Go to the table and check the total distance first on Wednesday. The total distance travel is 270. So half of that will become 135. So for first half it will be distance that is 135 divided by what is the speed upstream speed for that first half? It will become speed of boat minus stream. Stream speed it has given around 6 kilometers per hour. Stream uh, speed of the boat we don't know. So I took it as V. This will become T1. Similarly for T2 distance will remain same the other half 135 divided by. In place of V we need to take 2V because they have mentioned it double its speed. So it will become 135 divided by 
2 v minus speed of the stream 6 both are upstream right i mean half of so time taken upstream in this scenario will be equal to t1 plus t2 that is nothing but 135 by v minus 6 plus 135 by 2 v minus 6 okay this is our first equation and now we need to know the usual time also right what will be the usual upstream time i mean normal speed throughout the distance so that will become what is the total distance that is 270 and what is the speed of the boat v minus 6 similarly what will be the usual downstream time total distance 270 by v plus 6 because it's downstream so we got these values and now read the second statement it takes 33 3 by 4 hours less time than the usual when if the boat covered half the distance with v and other half with 2v so how do you write it time taken for going upstream in the scenario i mean the first scenario is equal to usual time minus 33 3 by 4 right so t upstream in the scenario will be equal to t upstream that is usual time minus 33 3 by 4 will become 135 by 4 till here it's clear right so this is the second equation okay and now in the last statement they are asking us to calculate what is the total time taken by the boat to go upstream and downstream that is nothing but the upstream time that is usual upstream time plus usual downstream time this is what we are supposed to calculate so what will be the upstream usual time that will be 270 by v minus 6 plus 270 by v plus 6 that is the downstream usual time so we need to calculate this in order to calculate this we need to know the value of v which is nothing but the speed of the boat so we can calculate the value of v from the first equation that is t up scenario is equal to t up usual minus 33 3 by 4 that is 135 by 4 okay so we take that equation and we will substitute all the formulas okay t upstream scenario go to the uh, fourth line and see the formula okay it is 135 by v minus 6 plus 135 by 2 v minus 6 that is equal to t upstream usual that is nothing but 270 by v minus 6 minus 135 by 4 so you will get a quadratic equation and if you solve it you will get the v value as 9 so now substitute this v value in the formula that is total time usual is equal to 270 by v minus 6 plus 270 by v plus 6 so after doing all the calculations you will get the total time as 108 hours so this might look uh, lengthy because i'm trying to explain it in a way so that everyone can understand right but in exam you can directly start from the final equation okay that is t up scenario is equal to t up usual minus 135 by 4 so you can directly start from that and then according to the table and the question you can directly substitute the values from there so all the steps above it are something uh, for better understanding okay so that everyone can follow these type of questions and now coming to third question on tuesday if the difference between the time taken by the boat to go upstream and downstream is 45 hours in the form of equation it will become t up minus t down is equal to 45 and now coming to the second statement the downstream speed is 24 kilometers per hour so second equation will be downstream speed is equal to 24 or we can write speed in the form of distance by time right so downstream distance divided by downstream time is equal to 24 okay that i have written in brackets and now coming to the last statement they are as asking us to calculate what is the total distance covered by the boat to go upstream and downstream that is total distance including both upstream distance and the downstream distance so it will become total distance covered capital d is equal to how much that is what we are supposed to calculate so now first we'll start with the first equation that is t upstream minus t downstream is equal to 45 and now go to the table on tuesday so they have given only total time they have not given distance upstream no, uh, no speed of the boat no speed of the stream they have given the total time taken so total time taken is nothing but according to the note it includes both downstream time plus upstream time so that will become t upstream plus t downstream is equal to 75 so now we got two equations t upstream minus t down is equal to 45 t upstream plus t down is equal to 75 so by solving you get t upstream will be 60 and t downstream will be 15 so substitute down, downstream time in the second equation where i have written something in brackets right distance downstream by downstream time is equal to 24 now we know the downstream time that is 15 so distance by 15 is equal to 24 
so d will be 360 so this distance is only downstream distance but they are asking us to calculate both upstream and downstream distance so we need to add 360 plus 360 both upstream and downstream so answer will be 720 and now coming to the fourth question on friday if the ratio of speed of boat to speed of stream is 2 is to 1 so this is the first statement we need to convert it in the form of equation so it will become i will be taking speed of boat as vb and speed of stream as vs okay so the equation will become vb is to vs is equal to 2 is to 1 or vb is equal to 2 times that of vs 2 vs so this is the first equation and now coming to second statement they are asking us to calculate what is the difference between the time taken by the boat to go upstream and to go downstream so it is nothing but t up minus t down is equal to how much this is what we are supposed to calculate so now go to the table on friday they have given us two values i mean distance upstream which is nothing but 324 and also the total time was given that is t up plus t down is equal to 72 so now we got two equations t up plus t down is equal to 72 and also vb is equal to 2 vs so similarly what we have done in the third question okay we need to convert the time in the form of speed and distance okay so it will become distance by speed right formula so distance d divided by what will be the upstream speed i already said when i say upstream we need to add sorry we need to subtract speed of stream from the speed of boat that is nothing but vb minus vs for upstream so it will become distance by vb minus vs plus for downstream it will become downstream distance it is same d by we need to add okay vb plus vs that is vb plus vs is nothing but speed of boat plus speed of stream this is equal to 72 so okay we will substitute the d value as 324 for friday because it was given in the table so 324 divided by so in place of vs sorry in place of vb i will take it as 2 vs because we know it from the second equation so 324 divided by vb minus vs will become 2 vs minus vs so it will become vs so 324 by vs plus 324 divided by vb i will take as 2 vs so in this case we need to add right 2 vs plus vs that will become 3 vs is equal to 72 so by solving this you will get the value i mean the speed of stream as 6 and speed of boat as 12 be clear with the notations okay v what is vs what is vb don't get confused okay so in order to calculate t up minus t down we need to substitute the values of vs and vb in the equation so before that we need to convert this equation in the form of distance by speed so time taken upstream will become distance travel upstream d divided by upstream speed minus time taken for downstream will become distance travel downstream divided by downstream speed so we need to substitute the values of vs and vb in the denominator so that it will, it will become d by upstream speed will become vb minus vs okay 12 minus 6 it will become 6 minus d by downstream speed will become vb plus vs 12 plus 6 it will become 18 so d by 6 minus d by 18 and if you solve it you will get 36 hours and now coming to the last question on thursday the difference between the time taken by the board to cover x kilometer upstream and x plus 120 kilometer downstream is 26 hours so in this case the upstream distance and the downstream distance are different so this is the first statement we will convert this statement in the form of equation so on the left side the first equation will become time taken for upstream in brackets i have mentioned distance because the distance is different right so time taken for upstream minus time taken for downstream for traveling x plus 120 distance okay is equal to 26 so this is the first equation and the statement and now coming to second statement had the boat covered the same distance upstream as downstream then what would have been the difference in the time taken so in this case they are telling that the downstream distance and the upstream distance are same which is x plus 120 so the second equation will become time taken upstream for traveling x plus 120 because they said same as downstream so minus t down downstream time for traveling x plus 120 distance right so now we need to convert the first equation in the form of distance by speed so it will become x by upstream speed minus x plus 120 by downstream speed is equal to 26 so how do you calculate upstream speed and downstream speed go to the table and check the values for thursday 
speed of boat is 11 and speed of stream is 7. So they have given both values. So for upstream it will become 11 minus 7 in the denominator. For downstream it will become 11 plus 7. So after doing all the calculations you will get x value as 168 kilometers. So now in order to calculate the upstream time that means I mean in order to calculate the second equation now I mean the final question t upstream for both upstream and downstream the distance is x plus 120 in this case. Same approach we need to convert this equation in the form of distance by speed. So in this case distance will be same x plus 120 for both up and down. So x plus 120 divided by so what is the upstream speed in this case it will become 11 minus 7 4 minus x plus 120 by downstream speed will become 18 same 11 plus 7. So after doing all the calculations you will get the total time as 56 hours. I hope it's clear. Thank you.